Right, Zabani for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm delighted to have with me a victorious Joshua Frankham. Joshua, how are we doing? Yeah, I'm doing good, thank you. Good win, good win for me tonight. First stoppage, got out of the way. Uh, on to the next one. Obviously, I know your first three fights were all points win. Um, you came in there, it looked like you wanted the fight to end quite quickly. I wanted to get him out there. I've been having a lot of doubts lately. Oh, you're gonna, when are you going to stop someone? When are you going to stop someone? And listen, I don't think about that. All I care about is the wins, but I thought I'd show tonight that I can do that. Is that kind of the focus? You get in the ring, do you want to just... Is it the rounds? Is it the victory? What, what do you focus on when you get into that ring? Listen, at the end of the day, as long as you win, that's all about, that matters, I should say. But you want to get the rounds in. I'm only young. I'm a four-rounder. I'm getting as much experience as I can until I step up to six, eight and ten. So that's what we aim for. Experience, experience. It's quite unique. You've had four fights uh, in quite quick succession, like last 12 months. In the 12 months where a lot of fighters have hardly got one fight. Yep. Um, quite fortunate to get that experience. Very lucky. I want to thank Queensbury and uh, Uncle Frank Warren for that one. Without them, listen, pushing me through this lockdown has been so hard. A lot of fighters haven't even been able to get out, so I can't thank them enough for keeping me so busy. You know, we see these fighters have different kind of roots. Some fighters want to... We saw, like, Josh Taylor become undisputed at 18. Lee McGregor's 5-6 fights, he's European champion. Uh, Lawrence Zaccoli, 15, 16 fights, world champion. But then you've got other fighters who go into the 20s, 22, 23, you know, uh, and then hit the world scene. Then what's, what's your thoughts and what's your kind of plan? I want Canelo next. <laughs> no, listen, everyone's got a different journey, so... Um... You know that's going to be the title next. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't put that. It mugged me. No, but listen, everyone's on a different journey, and you've got... Uh, you've got Take your time. Whatever comes for you, comes for you. You know, whatever, whatever's made for you will be, if I can get it right. So um, we're just going to take our time. I love the British style. I love to go on and win world titles. But I'm aiming slowly at the minute, and we'll get there. I asked this to many fighters. Obviously, the last 12 months for you have been good. But obviously, for some fighters I've spoken to, it's, it was hard for them to kind of keep themselves motivated and disciplined because they didn't know when they were going to get that date. No. For yourself, I'm guessing it was the complete opposite. Yeah, I've been, I'm in the gym every day, so I'm still learning. I'm training every day. But listen, like I said earlier, thank you to Frank for keeping me so busy. Um, I'm so grateful to be part of a good team. I've got a good team down in Southampton, Wayne Batten, Lee Wright, they put the work in, Jared, all the boys. So I've got a good team around me and we're going to the top. Where do you feel like your future lies? Which weight? World weight, definitely. I learned that tonight. I was in about 0.3 over world weight limit, so I'm definitely going to be a welter, yeah. It has been a stacked division in the UK. We've had the Cons, the Brooks, that never happened. Uh, we've had, obviously, Hatton as well at that division. Right now, it looks like Connor, Bre Connor Ben, McKinson there as well. Um, do you feel like that, that might be the, the, the kind of level of fighters that you might end up facing not too far down the line? Most definitely. Listen, obviously, I don't want to say at a minute, like I said earlier, Canelo, but most definitely we're, we're, we're going to be in that position within the next 18 months. So until we get there, just keep learning, getting the good fights in. And we'll keep going to the top. You've got a nice little good luck message this week from uh, the heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. Um, nice, to, nice when you get that, isn't it? Of course he is. He's done a lot for me in boxing. He's done a lot for me in everything. So I can't thank him enough. Thank you very much, Tyson, for everything you do for me. Um, obviously, I'd love to be going out there on the night to watch him smash Wilder again, but I don't think that's going to be able to happen. But he knows they do the business. I was going to ask you, it's four weeks tomorrow. It's the trilogy, it's the fight that everybody has been waiting for. Um, Tyson is in the UK. Obviously, the, the fight before he was training out there in, in Las Vegas. Um, do you expect the same result? And do you expect it to be easier or harder for Tyson? Most definitely win for Tyson, easy. Um, listen, Wilder, I think he believes that he got cheated out of the last two fights, which is delusional. So I think Tyson's going to wipe him away, away within six rounds. Easy. Any celebrations tonight, mate? A Five Guys Burger. <laughs> a Five Guys Burger. But before, before you go, I want to thank all my sponsors. Terrace Colt, Fueler, Madonna Solutions, Enterprise, Renegade, Up Scaffolding, Well Hydrate, Pilkington, Estate, Gold Scaffolding, Up Scaffolding, literally, Mac Tech. All of you guys, without you, if I've, Fuel Hub, if I've missed anyone out, I'm so sorry, but I've got so many. Without them, I wouldn't be able to box, so a big shout out to all you guys. Well done, mate. Joshua Frankham, IFL TV. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, brother.